What's up guys? Uh, got another edition today. Today we'll be covering Cody Means. Uh, so Cody's my longtime fishing partner at this point. He's been fishing with me for about three years. Uh, I've taught him a lot. He's taught me some things here and there too, of course. I've got to give him a little credit. But uh, we got a pretty packed line up here today. Uh, I've actually got even honorable mentions, but a top 10 list. But uh, I think first I'll just roll right into the honorable mentions. There's a few good ones. Uh, I won't really explain them, but I hope you enjoy them. Now we've played them. Oh, nope. Cody's got another good one. 20, 20, 22. That's another good one too. That one got a hook in its mouth. <laughs> By chance. No, What are you doing? <laughs> He's like crooked. Did you break his back? What'd you do to this poor fish, son? I saw that. Oh, big sad Cody. I just missed your fish. It weighs it it weighs this much. We put it. So those four clips were just a little more enjoyable for me. They're short and sweet. They didn't really, I wouldn't say fully deserve a spot of explanation as to what was going on or anything. The only one that kind of did was the fish that he caught in the creek. I don't know what was wrong with that fish. It literally, like it was swimming crooked, like its back was bent. I don't know. Uh, interesting clip, but uh, yeah. Uh, that being said, we'll get into the top 10. So with spot number 10, it's a little bit of a shorter clip, it's just kind of a goofy one. I don't even think he really knew that this kind of occurred uh, cause it was on, not the one on my chest, but the one on the back camera, but he throws a fish back and you know, if you catch largemouth, they tend to poop on your hands or something. So he gets some poop on his hands and it's just his mannerisms and his actions in the video is what cracked me up, but here's that clip. How did he get on my hand? Who's that? Shit. Probably. All right, guys. So for spot number nine, this is, this clip would be a lot higher if the audio was more legible. Uh, there's wind blowing and then I've got this like real puffy jacket on that's like almost windbreaker material. So you hear it like rubbing against each other. It's hard to hear, but essentially, this man asked me, how do they make pickles? Like, he was like, how do you grow a pickle? I don't know why this man didn't realize that pickles were cucumbers, but this was just his reaction to me telling them that they were cucumbers and me just explaining it to him. But here it is. They're a cucumber, brother. No. <laughs> They come off a tree. Cucumber plant. Oh, I never really thought about it. <laughs> How do you grow pickles? You don't. <laughs> you grow cucumbers. <laughs> then you turn the cucumbers into pickles. No. Legit. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed that clip. It's it, like I said, it's hard. I tried to make the audio as good as I can for it, but it's just hard to understand what's going on in that. Uh, for spot number eight, this one is just one of those moments that happens on the water from time to time. Cody's reaction to him trying to fix is what makes me laugh, but essentially he got my line caught in the trolling motor. Uh, super simple little clip, but it just, it cracks me up to an extent and just his reactions to stuff always make me laugh. But here's that clip. Man, I cannot cast in this wind at all. Any bait caster at all. What do you think, Chris? You gonna buy that rod reel? I'm thinking on it. How the f did this happen? Great, I got a penalty. I'll make you a deal on it. I'll get out of the water. Did you catch a fish on it? Hold on, hold on. Where are you at? Yep. Oh. 
Yeah, it's wrapped in it. I felt it. <laughs> oh no. How bad is oh, it? Oh, it's not bad. You say that and it's gonna be wrapped in that thing like 45 times. Oh my god. I got time. Oh boy. We ain't ever gonna fish this flat. <laughs> <laughs> so much shit's happened. Yeah, it's barely in there at all. Yeah, I didn't know it was in the prop for a second. Is that a helicopter this time? <laughs> Just cut the lock. <laughs> no! Still. Wrong way. Really? I'm pretty sure. Just cut the line. Okay. Get my buzz bait back. But it was coming out. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. It's, you know, a little all over the place. But we'll get to spot number seven. Spot number seven is one of those little small interactions that happens on the water that I love so much. This just cracks me up. Uh, so we're at his aunt and uncle's pond. And he essentially asked me where on the pond I want to go fish. I said, take me to the fish. And, uh... He has a little rendition of a song. Uh, thankfully, it's short enough that I can't get copywritten for it, but it's funny. Here it is. Where you want to go? Where, buddy? Take me to fish. Take me to the fishies. Like I said, that little clip always makes me laugh. It's just one of those small little things that happens on the water, but it makes me laugh. So for spot number six, uh, this one is a little longer uh it spanned over the entire day uh so we were at our link x of sorts that i don't tell you what the name of it is uh link in the description right here if y'all want to watch these two videos but essentially he was tearing them up early in the morning on a like strike king spook type bait and he uh he caught a big fish so he went to retie retied his line Tied a bad knot, went to cast. And I'm talking to this fisherman that's on the bank, bluegill fishing. And when he casts, his line breaks because he tied a bad knot and it bounces up into the cattails, right where this guy's bluegill fishing. So we can't go get the bait. So later on in the day, after we get done fishing, the guy's left from the bluegill bed, we go up and try to find this bait. But here's that clip. Oh my God. I guess I didn't tie it on there good. I don't even know where it went, Cody. It's it's over. Oh my god, look at <laughs> Oh my god, Cody. Dude. We'll have to come back and get it. Where was it? Like right there. It's mm. floating there somewhere. It went into the cattails. Like I saw it bounce up and land in the cattails. I can go over there. I can't. Dang. He's fishing right there. I can't. I know. <laughs> she did a spook I got one. <laughs> not, that's not how it works. <laughs> That's the spook catching them. <laughs> Maybe they'll eat mine now. Um, but Cody lost his spook here earlier, the one he was catching them on. So I promised him I'd come back and uh, try to get it. It's in the cattails. And there was a guy on a bluegill bed, and it happened to land like right where the bluegill bed was. So we couldn't get to it. But we're going up here. This is where he lost his spook earlier. I'm still going to give it a try. It landed somewhere in the cattails. I'm going to see if I can find it. I want to say it was like right here, right? Yeah, right there somewhere. Like that. It bounced way up in there. Did it for real? Yeah. Um, I, th I thought that was it right there. Where? Right there. Nah. Nah, this is quite the best. I'm not going up. I doubt it sunk. Nah. Oh, there it is. Is it? Yes! Where's it at? Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah baby! I wish it was on camera. It is on camera. Let's I'm recording go. it. Like I said, it's just a random little clip that happened throughout the year. Uh, for this next one, spot number five, this clip is just, it's strange, but it's also kind of funny. We're just being stupid. Uh, but we're in the creek fishing, and me and him are just doing like a race walk to the next hole and his legs crack me up when he's running. But on the other sense, he finds a big gulp cup laying in the creek and he's like, there's a big gulp. Well, like 10 feet later, there's another one. And he just says some outlandish stuff about it and it just, his reaction and everything cracks me up. But here's that clip. Oh, yeah. 
Rob, so. Second in. <laughs> All right, guys. On to spot number four. Spot number four is also in the creek. Uh, significantly different, different day as well. Uh, so essentially what I think happened, uh, we never really fully figured out what was going on. Cody kept trying to make casts and his his line would get caught on his rod somehow. I think he had too long of a leader on his spinning rod. I'm not really for sure, but uh, essentially he makes a lot of bad casts in this video and I just couldn't help but throw a little collage of them together. It makes me laugh every time. And there's a little edit at the end for you all. I hope you enjoy it. Here, the, here it is. Rain pounding in here like it was. Cody yeah, having trouble already? I, I dreamed I broke this rod yesterday. It's, still stuck. <laughs> it's three casts in a row. It's fine here, 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 here. Oh, I see. What happened? The leader got stuck under the knot. Oh. <laughs> having trouble, ain't you? Guess so. I'm just waiting for him to hit me. I'm about to do a edit of that with Holla Bat Girl. <laughs> do not. <laughs> I really don't know how I missed and lost all those ones that last. <laughs> 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 oh my god. We didn't cut a bass out of this hole, man. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. And again, funny more homes. Yeah, I'm I'm being stubborn now. I'm not being kind. Um, didn't take me too long, but I just once once I saw the clip of him hitting the top of the water so hard with the bait, I couldn't help but do that because it just made me think of all the memes that I've seen over the years with that sound. Uh, but we'll get into spot number three. Spot number three is just it's once again one of those goofy clips, but I hooked Cody in this in this video, and. Uh, he, he says something that just strikes me as funny every time I hear it. It's just a simple little clip, and here it is. That's my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Did it get in you? No. That's good. Now let's do your thing. <laughs> let's see. It's in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my bar? <laughs> That's my ass. <laughs> Excuse, excuse me, turn this one for a second, sir. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. That's all. No! No! The goose is gay! All right, you're good. Now. Hope you enjoyed that one. It makes me laugh every time. It's just another one of those clips. Another thing I forgot to mention uh, previously to introducing the video was the fact that he's just being goofy with his Gucci jeans. Uh, I know he'll get a kick out of me saying that, but it's just a funny little clip. I can't help but laugh at it. So for spot number two, uh, this actually has a solo video on my channel. Uh, it doesn't have that many views. I'll link it. Uh, it's a simple little two minute clip, but it's him telling a story about his dad and a bottle of beer. And this makes me laugh incoherently every time I watch it. Still to this day, like I can remember editing the video originally and I literally could not stop laughing watching this. But here's that clip. So first thing dad does is he gets my house today. He doesn't sell the couch, he had a, a bottle of beer in his pocket and he drank it, something like it, and he spilled it all over the blanket couch. So I'd throw it in the washer. He had a bottle, an open bottle of yeah. beer in his pocket. In his back pocket? Front pocket. His front pocket? <laughs> <laughs> like he sat down and goes, oh, I was like, where's this coming from? Did you piss yourself? <laughs> and I seen the bottle. Of <laughs> an open bottle of beer. <laughs> Not only in his pocket, but in his front pocket. How do you get a bottle of beer in your front pocket? And, ha and why is it open? <laughs> That's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where's this shit coming from? <laughs> oh, I'll do my <laughs> Why? Okay, so at least it wasn't Miller High Life. That makes it a little less funny to me. <laughs> it's like they're, you know, this tall. 
but yeah. <laughs> the way I was picturing, I was picturing like a full, like 16 ounce bottle of beer. You mean like a regular bottle? Yeah. It was. Oh, it was? It was a full size? <laughs> I thought you were talking about like one of the little ones. Oh, hell no. It was my last bottle. Oh my God. That's hilarious. Hey, you took me with. You got any beer? You got nothing to drink? So I got Pepsi and I still got one Corona. He's like, give it to me. Give it to me. Give me a curl, please. <laughs> like I said, that story cracks me up. The fact, it's not the fact that he has a bottle of beer in his pockets for me. It's the fact that he has an open bottle of beer in his front pocket. Like I could, I could take this bottle right here. I don't think I can fit this in my front pocket. My back pocket, sure. Front pocket, I don't think it's possible. I don't know how he managed to put a full bottle of beer in his front pocket, but it makes me laugh every time. Uh, for spot number one, this one, it had to be this one. Uh, I'll kind of introduce the clip. It's kind of strange, the setup for it, but essentially I'm using, uh, Chris is with us this day, and I'm using his rod fishing. So I'm using uh, a square bill that he has tied on. Essentially the wind's blowing, blows the crankbait 20 foot up a tree, right? Winds catches it, throws it in the tree. So I don't want to buy Chris to do crankbait, essentially is what happens. So I decide that I'm going to break this tree limb down to get this bait and uh cody just absolutely is hilarious in this clip so i'll let the rest of it speak for itself it is a long clip um but i still hope you all watch it and enjoy it but here it is fuck fuck a duck gosh that wind's pretty constant Shut up, bird. Oh yeah, I need you to jump up there and hang on like a fucking monkey bar. It will break on contact. I know, that's what I need you to do. I will hurt. I'm scared right now, eh? <laughs> Go anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared. You want the thing helping the wind, he already broke it off. No, Here, hold this. Hold what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think it's still too high. <laughs> this is so scary. I'm gonna get bonked. Oh, f me. No, no, no. Get me away from this mother. Wait, we're right over it. Wait a minute. Trust me, you can buy another. Get my another Cody if he gets. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I wish I had my bump cap. Oh, you're wrong, man. <laughs> I don't know what's so special about this bank. Besides it catches two fish. Keep going. Because it's a little ways up. Oh, Alright, hold hold tight now, okay? There you go. Get rid of the damn evidence. <laughs> all right guys i have to say a uh, shout out to chris um i'll link him in the description he's my little cousin he's fished with us a little bit but i thank him for uh sending me that clip of it from the other angle that wasn't on the chest mount uh because if not you wouldn't have seen cody's reaction to everything that was happening it's a funny clip that that tree limb was legitimately like 12 foot long 
Cody was like actually fearful for his life during this clip, uh, but he's fine. It's just a funny thing. Um, but yeah, that's a wrap on Cody. Uh, next video, it's going to be my top 10. Uh, there'll be a few honorable mentions on it as well. Uh, but there's probably one clip that y'all are like, why wasn't this in Cody's video? It's because it's in mine. So you'll have to tune in next week to see it and uh, to see the rest of my clips. Uh, I've still got a couple more in store after that that you all don't know about still. And you'll know soon enough because they're coming up very shortly. But with all that being said, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.